embrace victimization uh, and then criminal justice systems that just don't work. And that's why uh, I'm so excited to be here in the state uh, of South Dakota, supporting uh, my sister, Governor Noem, uh, who's continuing to lead uh, the nation in these type of policies. I mean, think about it. When you talk about rehabilitation, if someone goes and gets an advanced degree uh, or goes and gets their uh, carpentry uh, license or, or their electric uh, license or, or going to be a plumber, if they've worked for that during their time in prison and then they get out and get these licenses and certificates, but all of a sudden because they've done their time uh, and, they, and they're they not allowed to work and they're not able to get jobs, uh, Governor Nome saw that and she did not like it and, and, and that's why uh, they're pushing that bill here uh, in the great state of South Dakota. Well, and you know what? I think about that, that vicious cycle, right? Let's say they get a small crime slapped on them at 18, 19. They go in for two, three years. They get out, and like you just said, they can't find work. Nobody, they look at the resume and they go, you're in jail. Yep, get out. You're in jail. Get out. Nobody wants to give them that opportunity, that chance. I remember President Trump, and you championed this with him, the, um, was it the second first chance? Step. For, yeah. First Step Act. Yes, First Step Act, which is giving them a second chance. And... This goes to the same thing. Like, our prisons are overcrowded. Prisons have become a business, right? The penal institution is a business now. It's more about making money, building new prisons, and keeping them in. And we know, don't get me started on the 94 crime bill, that we know Joe Biden helped to co-author, put black and brown people in jail way longer for the same offense as white folks. So did those people get a second chance? Under Trump, they did. And under bills like this with Christie, they're going to. And without having a dad there to guide them, they need someone to give them that Leg up. Just reach the hand out. We're not saying you give them something. You just help them along the way to guide them like you do for your family, like I do for mine, like a dad would do, right? That's right. And, and, you, and you have to, to get them back in the house, get them a job. That's why it's so important to have bills like this that are not going to allow a company to say, hey, no, I'm not going to uh, even accept an employer because he has a criminal record. Mm -hmm. uh, you, should, you should judge a man by the context of his character, understanding that we've all sinned, we've all had uh, histories. Yep. Uh, many of us would have been uh, in jail before if we had gotten caught for some of the things that were done, if we want to be honest yeah, about it. Yeah, there was it. cameras so on social media everywhere when you and I were kids. <laughs> exactly. ah, come on, Jack. You know. No question. No question. So uh, bills like this need to be the standard. Uh, across this nation. Uh, and that's why I'm here uh, in South Dakota supporting this bill. And I think another thing, when you start looking at the fatherlessness of the guys in the prisons, many of them didn't get those skills, those life skills. They didn't get to wake up and see a hardworking dad that pushed them and Great gave point. them all of the skill sets that they needed. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have fathers themselves. And so in a lot of ways, our criminal justice system has to make up that ground for the lack of fathers. And, and I think bills like this help advance that, help advance that spirit. Because I know in the state of Florida, we have thousands of men uh, across our programs. Uh, and, and these men, when they get out, many that have completely uh, changed, uh, they can't get a place to stay because no one will rent them a property. Mm -hmm. They can't get a job because people don't want former uh, in in inmates. And so what happens? They're almost forced back into criminality. Uh, and so we really, as a nation, have to change uh, our perspective. And I'll tell you another thing. You look at our, our jobless rate, you look at our, 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 our businesses and the industries uh, that really need workers. We need to start hiring our folks out of prison. That will help us with our immigration issues. That will help us with a lot of our uh, uh, visa issues. Great if we point. actually invest back into the communities uh, right here in America and the people that want to come back and be fathers to their kids. Yeah. And the last thing I'm going to say, Dan, is when they get a job, they can pay their child support, brother. <laughs> Let's have them start paying their child support again. There you go.